<coughs> I have 2AB squared. Um, 5C to the... Now I'm going to break up C into factors, prime factors. How many C's do I have, class? Fifteen is what? And then I have four is what? <coughs> Class, yes or no? The denominators need to be the same. No. In multiplication, you do not need to have um, a common denominator. Okay, so this is called cross-canceling. What is it called, Class? cross Cross canceling is basically just division. Cross canceling is division. Class, is this called cross multiplying? What is it called? Cross multiplying is with an equation sign. There is no equation sign. Okay. Now, it's one for one. Say that. You're not going to do, okay, I see all the twos, I'm going to cancel all the twos. No, it's one for one. Two divided by two is one. C divided by C is 1. So it's kind of fun. I call it a canceling party. 5 divided by 5 is 1. What else, class? A's. Okay, anything else? Okay, so let's write everything in the numerator. And you're going to write it alphabetical if possible and your numbers are in front. Are there any other numbers here? What number did I not cancel? Mm -hmm. Three. So I'm going to write the three first. Any letters? Mm -hmm. Numbers. Mm -hmm. Letters. Mm -hmm. C squared. Multiply each expression. We just did that. <laughs> now we need to do the restrictions. <laughs> Tell your partner, how did we do the restrictions previously? Lizbeth, how did we find the restrictions previously? Lizbeth, where are you? Not here? Oh, there you are. Yeah, we said it the denominator are equal to zero. Look at the original problem. Put your finger on the variables in the denominator. Show your partner. Give him a head nod. These are my variables. Okay. So I'm going to put um, 5c to the third power not equal to zero and 4a not equal to zero. To get rid of this 5, remember you're doing PEMDAS backwards, okay? When you are solving, you are doing PEMDAS backwards. The temptation for the student is to do the power, the cube root, the radical sign, but you do it last. Does that make sense? You're going to do multiplication first. You're going to divide by 5. C to the third power is not equal to what? zero. Now I can take the cube root. <coughs> this becomes C, so the index and the exponent cancel, and you're left with C is not equal to. Class, where are three identical numbers that multiply to be zero? To zero. So C is not equal to zero. <clears throat> Do the same thing on this side. C and A both cannot be zero. Those are my restrictions. So it's the same thing as what we're doing with addition and subtraction. The only difference is you don't need an LCD 
factor first, see what they have in common, cancel those by division, okay? And then set your denominators not equal to zero, and the original problem to find your restrictions.